Hi all, I want to reflect on my teaching and learning events recently. So I got an invitation from a friend at Universitas Islam Indonesia in Jogja. Her name is Patty Artsanti. She teaches Pancasila and citizenship for engineering students at the university. She invited me to host a class with the topic of citizenship and Pancasila in daily lives. It was an international class. It was quite interesting to me, and at first I started with a lesson plan and discussed the lesson plan with my friend Betty Atsanti. She advised me on some points and then I finished the lesson plan here and starting to put them all, all the materials in my Google Classroom. So I setting the reading materials and then I was setting my videos also for students. Then I put all together, all these steps in my syllabus in my Google And I got my classroom in Google Classroom. So I set up the stream, classwork, people, and grades. So on the stream, you can see here what kind of conversation, announcement, and replies from students or from teachers, from myself or from my friends, Betty Altsanti talking about the posting, starting with the syllabus, and go through the classwork. And I put them all here as step one to step five, related to my lesson plan. Then each student will have reading on the step one. They have reading materials, similar like those we have in the, in the syllabus. They can choose one or two reading materials and then they reflect on the reading materials then step two they have watching videos assignment and reflect on the watching video assignment and they reflect on the social media looking at uh, the future of citizenship as the mandatory video and then they can choose other video as the optional video and i'm very happy with that because everyone step out and speak out their ideas of the videos in social media. So you can see here we got 18 students and two of them came from Yemen. So yes, this is international class. We use English and we use virtual meeting as the step four, step three and four. And I will tell you about the virtual meeting after this and I use Google Classroom here I would like to show you a sneak peek of my students reflection on reading materials so I got one two three four five reading materials and students can choose actually one only but some of students they reflect even on the five articles amazing right in average I could say that each of students read about two to three articles out of five articles and I found their uh, interesting reflection on this. So I asked students about what value that they find meaningful through the reading and then what part of Pancasila that relate to the value and what if they, do, they did and what will they practice as the expression of meaningful learning. So you can view the assignment here, and then let's see what happened with one or two person. This is quite good, and I put the rubric there, and we can see their materials in these files, or even in other drive. So this is basically Google Classroom, my classroom in another university. So. As I said before, I was invited by my friends at Universitas Islam Indonesia and one of the assignments that I give to students is a reflection on watching video. And then I ask them to share the videos, the reflection in their social media. I was so happy to find their meaningful reflection on watching video through the reflection to social media related to global citizenship of Buttercast that's X video here 
and then the optional short videos so they wrote the short reflection here on their social media and tag my name i give you another example here from noval and different uh, short movie and kind of different reflection and very nice one and that came the day on the 28th october 2020 it was hari sumpah pemuda a national celebration day in indonesia and i was so happy to meet with the young people to have a virtual classroom everyone came and hopefully found their meaningful learning there this time i used google meet padlet and of course using mentimeter to interact with the students and the whole of the time i utilize this presentation mentimeter i got the recap for you to see here so this is my recap of my presentation i use word cloud some visuals data and then i use some uh, photos another visuals and kind of text on definition on citizenship and all another survey also and then making see data so with that i also conclude on the future thinking on what they think about in 10 years and finally they got the reflect at the end of the virtual meeting the classroom meeting i asked students to share on my padlet here regarding the future of citizenship pancasila and global citizenship so in the padlet they can write down the comments about that so here you can see their writing short writing but they can also share their voice so it sounds more more interactive towards students and teacher you can listen to the voice of the students i will give the link of this padlet to you in the comment box or description and last reflection on my experience in citizenship and pancasila class that i've been invited to uh, to universitas islam indonesia in jogja so i use final assignment to my student i have final reflection on citizenship and i put that in flipgrid so students can go to the link of flipgrid then they can reply this uh, action take the action and record their re reply on video or audio or audio visual within one to two minutes and then they can share their uh, reflection on their social media or sharing in flipgrid so stay tuned until next week because students are still in the mid exam so they will fill up the reflection until next week i'll be happy to share their meaningful learning